Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have swatches for you from the Muse of Milan collection for Fall 2020 by OPI. I know I am super late on this collection. I do apologize about that. There's been a ton of collections coming out and I just haven't caught up until now. I was sent this collection from HB Beauty Bar, so in the description box below, I will link the HB Beauty Bar site and Instagram page. I will link the OPI site and Instagram and then my Instagram where you can see more swatches of everything from this collection. So we do have 12 super folly things to look at today and let's go ahead and get started. So first we have complimentary wine and this is a deep kind of barbecue sauce ready brown cream. So here's our first coat of complimentary wine. This one is kind of more of a jelly-ish leaning polish. You are gonna want two to three coats of it to get a nice even application. This is very pigmented though. I didn't have any kind of staining with it, but I would recommend wearing a base coat. I did two for my video and three coats for my photo. So there's two coats. Up next we have Have Your Panettone and Eat It Too, and this is a kind of sweet potato orange cream. Here's our first coat of Have Your Panettone and Eat It Too. This one is pretty opaque here on this first coat. I got it completely opaque in two. Again, I had no running, pulling, or staining. I would recommend a top coat for longevity, but most of OPI's creams do dry nice and glossy all on their own. So there's two coats. Next up we have My Italian is a Little Rusty and this is a burnt orange cream and then here it is next to have your panettone and eat it too so you can see the difference. Here's our first coat of My Italian is a Little Rusty. This one is very pigmented. I am working in thin coats. I'm going to do two coats today but depending on your application you might be okay wearing this in one. Again I would recommend a top coat just to keep your manicure lasting because this one does dry nice and glossy all on its own. So there's two coats. Up next we have Drama at La Scala and this is a turquoise blue cream. Here's our first coat of Drama at La Scala. This one does have kind of that crelly feel to it where depending on your application you might want to do three coats but I am going to show you what two coats looks like today. I did go in a little bit thicker here for my second coat to make sure it was a nice even application. Again, this one will dry nice and glossy all on its own, but I would recommend top coats. So there's two coats. Up next we have Duomo Days, a Sola Nights, and this is a bright primary blue cream. Here's our first coat of Duomo Days, a Sola Nights. This one is pretty pigmented on this first coat. I do build this one up to opacity in two. Just like the rest of the creams in this collection, this is gonna dry nice and glossy all on its own, but I would recommend wearing top coat to keep your manicure lasting. I also didn't personally have any kind of stain with this one, but I would recommend a base coat. So there's two coats. I know I'm gonna say this one wrong, but up next we have Galleria Botolio Violet, and this is a light lavender with a purple shimmer. Here's our first coat of Galleria Vittorio Violet. This one is pretty pigmented on this first coat considering how light of a color it is. I did get full opacity in two. The shimmer does stand out on the nail. It's not the most vibrant shimmer I've ever seen, but it is there. You are going to want top coat. This one does dry a little bit dull. It doesn't dry textured and removal's easy. So there's two coats. Up next we have Adieu Bad Nails Chow Good Nails and this is a kind of grayed out purple with a purple shimmer and these tiny itty bitty like brown taupe glitter. Here's our first coat of Adieu Bad Nails Chow Great Nails. This one I did again achieve full opacity in just two coats. The shimmer that's in here is really beautiful against this base color. I would recommend top coat because it dries dull and removal's easy. So there is two coats. Up next we have Leonardo's model color and this is kind of an inky blue base and it has this larger particle shifty shimmer to it. Here's our first coat of Leonardo's model color. 
This one is a little bit more sheer on this first coat. It does have more delicate elements in it that can be hidden easily if the base color is more pigmented, so that's why it had to be a little bit more on the sheer side. I was still able to achieve full opacity in just two coats. I would recommend top coat to keep your manicure lasting and to give it that nice plump finish and removal's easy. So there's two coats. Up next we have this color hits all the high notes and this is a silvery purple shimmer. Here's our first coat of this color hits all the high notes. This one is a little bit sheer on this first coat. I do build this one up in three coats for my photo. I did have some brush strokes through the shimmer when it was wet. Some of those went away when it dried, but not all of them. The flash that's in here, the pearly flash that's in here is very beautiful. I think I am kind of growing on the pearl finishes because I think this is so pretty. There is three coats. Up next we have OPI Nails the Runway and this is a darker blue metallic with a silver foily finish. Here's our first coat of OPI Nails the Runway. The larger particled shimmer that's in here actually seems to be more of a like micro flake which I think is super original for OPI. Formula on this one is good. Again, no running, pulling, or staining with anything in this collection. I would recommend top coat for this polish. Nothing dries textured and nothing's hard to remove. So there is three coats. Next up we have Susie Talks with her hands and this is a concrete gray cream. Here's our first coat of Susie Talks with her hands. This one is pretty pigmented on this first coat. I do get full opacity in two. Again, I would recommend top coat. This one in particular, depending on your lighting, it can lean green gray or blue gray, and I think it's really original. So there is two coats. And lastly for today, we have Falling from Milan, and this is a kind of gray nude base with a gold shimmer. And here's our first coat of Falling for Milan. Again, very pigmented on this first coat, completely opaque for me in two. You will want top coat to bring that nice plump finish to this polish, and removal is gonna be easy. This is, again, that larger particle shimmer or micro flake, so nothing's gonna dry textured either. So there's two coats. I did have two standouts, the first one being my Italian is a little rusty. This is the same thing as like the Yank My Doodle. It's like that pumpkin pie color. It's very like pumpkin spice latte color. I think this is a gorgeous fall shade. I really, really appreciate them putting that in there. So I really, really like that one. And then my other favorite would be Leonardo's model color. Just because it's, it. I mean, I've seen OPI do this exact polish, I believe before, but I never get tired of it when they do something new for them that's not a cream or shimmer or a pearl. I get really, really excited. So Leonardo's model color and my Italian is a little rusty is my favorites from the collection. And guys, that is it. Let me know in the comments below what you thought of these polishes. Let me know if you plan on picking any of them up and let me know what your favorite was. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you'd like to see more from me and I will talk to you next time.